Welcome! I heard HGTV was coming, I just didn't know what time, but come on in. I'm a little unprepared for this, I thought they were coming later, but here we are. This is my LA apartment. I share it with my best friend slash roommate, and we pay $2,500 a month. So between the two of us, it's a really good deal, and we moved here in October, so during the pandemic, which is why I think we got a pretty good deal. And we just, honestly, like, I love it. I feel so at home here, and let's give you the tour. Come on in. So the first room right over here is my bedroom. Let me show you around it. Come on in, come closer. So this is one of my favorite items I purchased from Amazon. I keep all my little travel knickknacks and shot glasses and books that I don't read on here. And it's just like, you know, a nice little shelf because, you know, we're renting. We don't want to like nail stuff onto the walls. This is my lamp that I brought from home. Love it. A little table. My tapestry, I took this photo in Switzerland and it's my favorite photo I've ever taken. And this is my bed. <laughs> the mattress and the whole comforter and bedspread is from Lull. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm gonna talk more about that and thank you to Lull for sponsoring this video. I am obsessed with them. And over here we have my office, <laughs> just a desk. But this is my corner desk. It utilizes the space very well and I have this little stool and I could just spin around. We also have a portrait of my grandma and I. It's one of those caricatures, but they made my grandma look really young, and I don't really know if it looks like her. And over here on this wall, we have my travel board, which is just a compilation of all of my old flights that I've been on throughout the world. And of course, some more Switzerland memorabilia because I'm just a Switzerland fan account at this point. And we have some closet space, just a big mirror. That's it. Okay. So we're gonna move on to my roommate's room. And you know Alex, she's been on the channel before. She's gonna show you around her bedroom. So come closer and we're gonna switch. Oh, first we have some storage space over here. This is where I store all of, all of the extra cat food because my cat gets hungry, okay? And we got a lot. And it's a weird little addiction I have for this. When I'm bored, I buy a bunch of cat food. So, yeah, and we have a little, yeah, storage. Okay, so over here is where we're gonna switch off and my roommate behind the camera is gonna show you her bedroom. Welcome to my bedroom, come on in. So this place is, has two very important purposes. One is for sleeping. Like Kevin, he put me on, I got a lull mattress and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So this is my bed and then, because of the pandemic, I work from home, so this is where I do all of my work from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. because I work East Coast hours, so I get up bright and early. I have this cool little rug that I got from Wayfair, shout out Wayfair. And then I also have a nice big mirrored closet that's kind of messy, so we don't need to look at that, but I love it. And once you exit Alex's room, we have the girls' room over here. And this is the full bathroom where there's the shower, my wetsuit hanging to dry. Look at this mirror. We just let me take so many selfies in front of this mirror. It's so nice. That's like high tech for this place. And then, yeah. We'll show you the boys' room now. So this is the boys' room because I share it with my cat. Sometimes we actually pee next to each other. It's real cute. And it just has a toilet in here, so it's a half bathroom. This is the best part. So Alex and I spent so much time putting into like decorating the whole main area and the kitchen area and we just honestly lived in this place for like three weeks straight without any furniture because we were just waiting for the best vibe because we're just really trying to create a space and I think we accomplished that and I'm just so proud of it. So now is the time that we're gonna show you and you know I'm gassing it up so much. It's just like furniture, but we put a lot of thought into it. So this is the living room. Just take it all in for a second. Okay. So Puffy's actually sleeping. This is his chair. It's not a human chair. It's meant for Puffy. No one else sits there but him. This lamp, right? Right. There's not much like lighting in here. So we want to have a lamp that, you know, lights up the whole room. So when it's dark, this does the trick. And we got kind of have a wood theme going on. So you'll notice we have a wooden coffee table, a wooden side table, just a bunch of wood, as well as like a caramel type theme going on, and a blue theme. So the carpet is blue, this chair is blue, it's also Puppy's chair. And over here we have Puppy's basket. Get in. 
Here we have the ficus that we spent way too much money on, but look how beautiful she is. Her name is Fiona. Also, just a fun fact, Puffy did not come with the apartment. I've had him my whole life and I flew him out here a couple months ago and he's officially an LA kitty just like his dad. Even though I'm not an LA kitty. <laughs> I'm an LA resident, not a kitty. We have our bar cart with our plethora of different alcohol, but we're really just priding ourselves in the different glasses we have. Alex got a cocktail book, which we're trying to masterpiece different cocktails. There's dust everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother got me this for Christmas. It's a palm tree neon sign, I just love it. And we were trying to figure out what to do for artwork on the walls, and since Alex and I take like really good photos, we wanted to, you know, showcase that. So these are our photos that we've taken throughout our travels. And we got these bar stools from this girl on Facebook Marketplace, and they conveniently just match the couch. And we just got this dining table from Amazon. And, you know, it's where we dine. We just like to eat stuff. We usually don't eat in here. I'll show you the balcony. That's where we do most of the eating. The kitchen. It's basically it. It's just a kitchen. Let me show you something, okay? This is where we store our million dollar jalapenos. We got them from the dollar store, but this shouldn't have been a dollar. This should have been a million dollars. So, <laughs> I'll just show you. Look at this. Tastes like a million dollars. That's it though. Helps me wake up in the morning and just eat jalapeno. Uh, this is where Puffy eats his food. He didn't eat that much today. But yeah, that's Puffy's dish. As well as his little scratcher. Okay. <laughs> Everyone clicked off after that. <laughs> um, okay, this is the best part of the whole place. It's what I'm most proud of. And Alex and I, again, put so much time into this. eat most of the time, this little chair table situation going on. And then we have a couch and we have our own palm tree. So we have a majestic palm right here and a soga palm, as well as some fresh basil. It's such a vibe at night because when these are lit, there's no going back. And look at this little cactus I got. How cute is this, right? So yeah, that's the apartment tour. You got to meet my baby cactus and see the whole place. And now we're gonna go back into my bedroom where we're just gonna have a little chat, so follow me. Can you scooch? Okay, welcome back to my room. I am now just gonna talk about my sleep experience. This bed has actually changed my life a little bit. And do you hear him purring? He even loves the bed. This is where he sleeps. He refuses to sleep anywhere else. I got him a cat bed, but he's obviously too good for that, so he sleeps on my lol. So before I get into my sleeping story, as you know, I moved out here from Connecticut, so I drove across the country, and you can't really fit a bed into a car. So I got this bed shipped to my apartment, and it was waiting for me when I arrived, and it was so convenient because it literally just came in a big box and I opened the box and the mattress comes out. It was super easy and it literally just popped out of the box and I didn't have to do anything, which I love. I'm pretty lazy in that aspect. I want stuff to just be done like really quick and that's how this is. Like it just popped out and it was ready to be slept on. And I also got the covers and the pillows from Lowell. Thank you so much to Lowell, seriously. I also, you know, I put my roommate onto it and it's just, it's comfy, cozy keeps me asleep. I don't really wake up at night anymore. I used to wake up all the time because my bed back home in Connecticut was not the best and I would always find myself waking up at like three in the morning, which is, if you didn't know, the witching hour. So I would get like really scared that I was being haunted because it's like 3 a.m. And now here, I sleep through 3 a.m. And you know, I've always been on the search for blankets and pillows that make me feel like I'm at a hotel. And I finally have found those through LOL let me just show you the pillow for a second. The pillows have like millions of microfibers in them, which allows for the air to coolly just like go through them. And it feels like a hotel pillow. Do you see that? Do you see how it's like breathing almost? That's the type of pillow I like. Personally, I feel like the bed is the most important part of your bedroom, hence why it's called a bedroom, obviously. Oh, puppy's had enough. As you know, you spend a third of your life sleeping, so you gotta make sure you have a comfy sleep environment. And I'm here to help you find that comfort because I actually have a link that I'm gonna link down below that gives you $250 off your lull. 
and just help you sleep better. So check out Lil with the link in my description and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go take a nap now and yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Buttons are down below, just click them.